I was working at Tower Records as their store display artist, and some gentleman comes in and says, Hey kid, how'd you like to work for Walt Disney? And of course I jumped at the chance and found out I was just going to be washing buckets and cleaning brushes and trying to learn how to clean and spray guns, but it didn't work out very well. Uh, so, but that's how it started. started working at Disney in their uh, scenic department. And long, long, long story, but I did wind up in effects, miniature effects, stuff where things were made to blow up. They set it up, and it takes forever to set it up once we've actually finished it, and they'll send us home and give us the opportunity if we want to come back and watch the blow up and people always come back. I don't I don't know anybody who stays at home when the blow ups happen. So the hope is that you always try to give them something better than what they asked for. And then maybe they can add shots. That's what I love to hear. When they get all their shots, when the director and DP production designer they get the shots they want and they go, Wow, this thing looks so good, we're gonna get more because we have time. They can light it from a different angle. They can get an entirely different personality on the model. It's one of my favorite miniatures, the Betty. Oh, that one had all kinds of problems. But it was just, like, for example, there were panels on that, the, the large-scale arm of the, um, uh, the Auriga. It was uh, put down with some type of sticky stuff that the, that the uh, 5Ks were melting. So they popped off. We stuck them back on with glue this time. Job to job, you learn something new on every job. You learned uh, more about how to do things faster these days than anything else. Things that took you a month now have to take you a couple of days. And you just figure out how to do it faster. Or they just pull the camera back a little further or make the scene faster. But uh, sure, I mean, you're always going to be developing new techniques. And I'm a big fan of effects and anything that makes them more real, more rich, more entertaining, more fun to watch, I'm for. As long as it's going better. CG's another ball game when it comes to all of that uh, the variable. The thing about CG versus practical effects is that everything that's going on set, going on on set, all the bustle, the anger, the problems, problem solved, you know, everything that's going on between all the people that are doing the work, it's all there. It is all there somehow in the pieces, in, in the effects, you know, in, in the way it comes down, or the way it doesn't come down, or the way it blows up. All the anger and, and fights people are having, and friendships, and enemies, and whatnot, and affairs people are having. I just find it hard to see that energy in CG. You got that digital thing blocking filtering a lot of what's going on from the artist to the effect. It's just a theory. Just an observation. Oh, and another thing, and I think CG is beautiful when it's working with practical effects. But CG has a tendency to give us too much information. You know? It's, it's as if you're giving it so many pictures that it doesn't give the audience a chance to fill in the blanks with their own feeling about what it is whether it's supposed to be creepy or sexy or, or whether when you're trying to pull off an illusion, you need the audience's input as far as to actually have any kind of, of, of feeling about what they're seeing and whether or not it affects them at all. That's what it's all about. It's about an effect. As far as movies I've worked on, it's all an experience where hopefully it's, it's all in the outcome of it of will I get called back? You know, how happy was everybody with my work? So that's what kind of makes a decision as to whether or not it was a good experience or a bad experience for you. But uh, a scene I do want to mention, just out of the blue. A scene that made me say, I want to do that, was in Aliens, the second Aliens, the crash scene when they're coming to rescue. That scene gets to me. And I have the pleasure of actually talking to Pat about it. And it was a series of accidents, a series of, oops, that didn't go right. And that's what I'm saying when I point out that in CG so orchestrated and choreographed whereas in practical effects anything can happen and sometimes it makes the most incredible shot you know as far as watching movies and seeing movies and seeing an effect that maybe I worked on that I get to be especially proud of I'm always happy to be flipping channels and see Aliens Resurrection and seeing any of those shots of the Betty I was very proud of that Apollo 13 is the best movie I ever worked on, as far as how much I really like the movie. As far as the difficulty in delivering a paint job, 
as long as I can get to a point where I can communicate with visuals. We have got books, we've got the computer, everybody's got pictures. As a painter, all I have to do is make it look a certain way, and all I need to do that is visuals. Generally, I can always get on some type of wavelength with an art director who's giving me direction. Sooner or later, I'm going to get out of them. They can do this for a while, <laughs> but eventually I'm going to get what they want, get them to communicate to me how they want the thing to look. And then we're almost done after about 10 tries, and it's been painted three or four times. But as far as a difficulty, it's usually the time frames that make it difficult nowadays. When they use words like, oh, more ethereal, more spicy, and you got to hand them a chip book. Say, here, you know, <laughs> pick out a color that's spicy, you know. And, uh, but this is a matter of communication. I would certainly like to see another Team America type movie. Uh, it was ambitious, and it was a great idea to put that many miniatures in a film, especially amongst puppets, when they're going to look their best. I would like to see more puppet movies done, but producers are going to look at that and see where the budget went this direction, that direction, and say, well, maybe not. But uh, we did some, some fun miniatures.